Hello my loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing okay. This video, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not super excited about it and I'm really not in a chatty mood right now, which is why I've been putting off filming or recording this voiceover. Uh, not that you guys know about that, but <laughs> yeah, I've been putting off recording this voiceover for like a full week because I'm just not um, in the new year spirit anymore and I feel like I'm not the only one. Um, but these are my 2024 like new year spreads in my life journal so yeah i feel like i was gonna say something else and i literally just it's not in my brain but yeah this footage has literally been sitting around on my computer for a month now uh over a month I set these spreads up on January 1st, but I had other videos I wanted to get out before, and um, I think I mentioned in like my 2024 planner system that I would do this if anybody wanted them, and I think one person commented that they would love to see this, so if that was you, this video is for you. But anyways, I have three new spreads to bring in 2024 in my life journal. Um, and so I printed out this tarot card, um, which is The Fool. I didn't write the art credit in the, in this video, but I do have it. Um, so this is The Fool card by The Wooden Tarot, and it is illustrated by Andrew Schwartz. Um, and I just really like the vibe. I don't know, there's just something about it with the little mouse and the snake. Um, and I think it's really cute. So I printed it out and stuck it down on some black uh, scrapbook paper. So I'm moving on to the 2024 cover page for this spread and I'm writing out the year on some black paper. Um, and this literally takes so long to like color in all these letters and numbers. Um, but yeah, that's most of the footage. I might speed it up even more if um, it's super boring for me personally. But yeah, I'm just working on this. Um, I can't remember the exact font that I used for inspiration, but I'll leave the name up on screen or down in the description if I remember. Um, so yeah, I'm just working on that and I am sorry if uh, the shaking of this video is too obnoxious and gives you motion sickness. I've heard that that's a thing that happens, um, so I'm sorry if if that's too annoying. I promise you this is the last video with this kind of setup. Um, I do have my desk now, um, so everything is going to be so much smoother. All my like top-down views are going to be much more steady like they used to be, I promise. I'm sorry if I'm not like super excitable, um, but I really, I, I kind of mentioned this earlier, but like I'm really not in the new year spirit anymore. We're like midway through February and I feel like I'm not the only one, like that time has passed. Um, so I'm like, yeah. Also, I'm gonna mention it now, but I'll talk about it more in a future video. Um, I think I'm changing systems. So that means I'm like less excited about this video because I'm not really in this notebook anymore, but um, yeah.
Okay, so for my 2024 cover spread, um, I am just like trimming down, ripping off some of the excess paper for this, for the header. Um, and I'm gluing in some like celestial, um, just like star fake constellations. I'm pretty sure these are not real, um, but it's one of my favorite scrapbook papers from Michaels, but they don't make it anymore. And I'm really upset because I'm on my last like scraps of it. Um, but yeah, it's really beautiful. And so I'm just layering that with the title that I have. And then I'm using some washi as well to like fill in the space, decorate a little more. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think if I have anything to chat about right now, but I really don't. Um, it's been a while actually since I've like had a chat with you guys. Um, I like pre-filmed a bunch of stuff and then I haven't been making content in the interim. So I genuinely don't remember what I've shared with you all and what I'm planning to talk about in future videos. But um, yeah, I don't know, not too much to chat about. I've been like really, um, I've been really mundane and boring recently. I've really not been up to much, but things are picking up soon. I know that for sure. Um, I have some exciting plans in March um, and I do have a few things that I'm doing uh, this week in February. Um, but yeah, not too much, but yeah. Okay, back to the spread. I'm using my gold gel pen um, and I'm just writing in like started and finished so that I can use my date stamp and stamp in the days that I started these spreads and the day that 2024 wraps up. Um, I just like keeping a record of those things. Um, but yeah, then I'm using a Tombow brush pen. I believe this is in N89. It's one of my favorite grays. Um, and I'm just loosely like drawing in a border around everything. Um, I like the shaky wobbly look. I've been doing it a lot recently, I've noticed. Um, so yeah, and then I'm going in with some gold stars to add a little bit of decoration. And then I think I'm going in with a gold gel pen and then a couple other pens just to uh, draw in some stars and fill up the space. And then that'll be it for this spread. Um, I reckon, if my memory serves me right, that's it for this spread.
Okay, so once I've kind of decorated the spread to my satisfaction and like filled in some of the blank space, I am moving on to the spread right next to it. And this is where I'm putting in that tarot card. Um, I chose this card kind of for like the vibe that I want for the year. I don't think I've done something like that before. Um, I know that last year in 2023, I did a full-on vision board. I don't like doing vision boards. I feel like that's too much. I feel like time moves too quickly for me to accomplish everything in a year that I want to uh, when I create like a vision board or a mood board like that. Um, so I decided to do just like one image that captures what I, I like the vibe I want for the year. Um, way back when I first started bullet journaling, I would do a word of the year and you know, I probably could have done that again, but I really liked this card and I wanted the visual in my notebook. So that's, that's what I did. Um, so right now I'm just creating a sort of tip in, uh, with this card so that underneath I can journal a little bit about why I chose that card, what like my intentions are for the year. Um, I don't do it in this video, but I have done it. And yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm not super into tarot. I may have mentioned this, but sometimes like there are certain parts of, there are certain cards that I kind of resonate with and I like the meaning of. Plus I just love the aesthetic of it. So yeah. Okay, so once the tip in's done, I'm adding kind of like the same decoration that I did on the cover spread. And then that's kind of like the final details on that spread. So then once those are done, I'll be moving on to the next spread, which is also the final one for this video. Okay, once that spread is all complete, I am now um, creating the header for the next and final spread of my new year situation. Um, and this is my list of exciting things happening in the year. I think I've done this for the past two years now and I really like it. It's just a list of like all the things that are happening in the year that I'm really looking forward to. And yeah, it's not like the most filled out list. It's not the most comprehensive list. I don't often have a lot of exciting things going on or things that I'm excited about, but I do like to have the spread to reference and like remind myself that things are coming and I am excited about some things. Um, so I didn't fill this out again on camera, um, but I do have some things listed and it's a lot of like concerts. I'm going to a lot of concerts this year that I'm like really excited about. Um, and like some other shows, Lee Bardugo's new book, uh, The Familiar, that's coming out in April. I'm so excited. Um, I know that Heartstopper season three is coming out sometime this year. So that's on this list. Um, and it's just things like that, like films, uh, TV shows, books, 
concerts, like events that I'm going to that are just like exciting, a little less mundane than my daily life. Um, so yeah, that's what this list is. And it's literally taking ages to color this in. Um,
So once all the letters are colored in, I'm going to put the header up at the top of the spread and the piece that I have the title on is just a smidge too large for the paper. Um, and so I think I tried to adjust it and I think I ended up just trimming off one of the ripped edges, like that was at the edge of the page. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my bad. That's on me. Um, <laughs> my maths and my visualization situation is not very good. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm putting in some more of that, uh, star scrapbook paper um and doing some layering with some washi tape and and such and yeah that's essentially it um I do know that eventually uh this gets cut off but I do go in with that Tombow brush pen and I highlight every second line but that gets cut off I don't know why my phone decided to stop recording but it did and that was the only thing you missed um but yeah, just layering with some washi and the papers and going in with the stickers, the little, the gold star stickers and um, yeah, adding, adding in some decoration and that's that. But yeah, those are my three 2024 kind of new year spreads in my life journal. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, even though it's not the most timely. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed nonetheless. But yeah, thank you for watching and spending your time with me. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more content from me. I hope you're all having a good day or night wherever you are in time and space. And I'll see you all in my next one.